Welcome back to the Robert Morris Women's Basketball Weekly. I'm Ken Baker, and I'm joined with 11th year associate head coach Charlie Biscaglia. Now, Coach Biscaglia, you guys are coming off the win in the NEC championship, but it was a bit of an up-and-down season for you. Tell me about this season. Very young team, a lot of freshmen. Uh, you know, you're going to go up and down when you have young players playing a major roles. And um, I thought, you know, we did a good job of always responding. You know, we lose a couple in a row, we come back, and we, you know, we win a few in a row. Um, I thought at the end of the season, you know, we were playing a lot better than we were as, as opposed to early January. You know, I can remember the first conference game against Central Connecticut being down big at third place, coming all the way back in the second half, and Artemis hitting that big three from the top of the key that really kind of jump-started the season off. But then we turn around and lose to Sacred Heart, and, you know, they control the whole game. So at that point in the, early in the conference in the season, we knew that it was going to be like a tough battle with these young players to keep them focused on the things they need to get better and also go out there and win games. So, you know, as the season developed on, I thought by the time it was the end of the season and we went into that Mount St. Mary's game in the last game of the year that had all the implications for who was going to represent this conference in the in the NCAA tournament, um, you know, our kids came up big. And all the growth and all the struggles and all the adversity, you know, kind of got together there and they are all seasoned to go in there and play that game. And we, you know, we pulled that game out. So, you know, an up and down season, but expected with the young kids. And um, I'm really proud of them for getting where we got to. And you talk about that up and down season that you guys had started off a little bit slow and progressively got better throughout the season. And it's almost kind of how the championship game went a little bit of a slow start, but your players responded against St. Francis in the conference championship. Uh, you know, after we lost the second, you know, we beat them in here earlier in the year and then we lose at third place the second game of the season. You know, a lot of people probably thought at that point that St. Francis, you know, had our number now and they understood what they needed to do to beat us. And, you know, I thought they, they did do a great job at third place and they worked really hard and, you know, they outworked us that day. You know, we came all the way back and had a chance to win that game after being down like 25 in the second half. But, um, you know, we came up short, and I think the kids understood that at that point, you know, we can't let anyone outwork us. And when we came into that championship game, you know, with everything on the line, you know, they understood what it was like to lose, and they understood what it was like to play the same team and get outworked. And, and um, you know, we worked really hard to put in a good game plan together, and I was just so proud of the players for responding to it. I just thought that, you know, we just played a fantastic game out there. I thought the girls just worked really hard on defense, you know, held St. Francis to 18 points in the first half. You know, Joe Hay does an amazing job out there with the offense. You know, they, they're a high-octane team. They scored 132 points in the first round. So 18 points at halftime I think really showed everybody across the nation as that game was on ESPNU that, you know, we were there. We were there to win, and um, our kids were working hard. And even though we were young, we were going to play older. And so you ultimately achieve your goal. You got that NEC championship. Now the next step onto the NCAAs. What are you looking forward to in this tournament? You know, one thing I always tell people when they call us, if it was a reporter or if it was just somebody walking around on campus, you know, I'm really proud of the team. We're going out there to win, though. Um, the one thing I know about our team is that we'll work our butt off. You know, at this point in the season, with the young players responding so well as if that, that they have and the development has been there, with having Artemis Banu as a senior now and doing as well as she's done down the stretch and cemented herself in the, as a legacy here, um, I, I really am confident that, you know, the, the girls will go out there and they'll really work hard. They'll really do everything they can to win that game. And, you know, 40 minutes will be 40 minutes of intensity. So, you know, a lot of the coaches have, you know, commented in the papers and stuff about our team, former teams that have played us, like Virginia Tech this year's coach, you know, told uh, the, the uh, newspaper down at South Bend, that, you know, Robert Morris is just tough. Things just don't shake them. They don't rattle them. They stay together. They work hard. You know, they're very intense. And, and that made me proud. You know, that made me proud as a coach to say, hey, you know, this team, no matter who we play, whether it be a, uh, you know, a giant team like Notre Dame or whoever it is, that we'll go out there and we'll battle. And, you know, we have a lot of pride and we're going to work hard. So I just, you know, I expect our team to work really hard, play as hard as they possibly can, and, you know, let the chips fall as they may as, you know, a 40-minute game is, is hard to keep up with us if we're, if we're intense for 40 minutes. All right, Coach B, thank you for your time. Good luck in the NCAA tournament. And you can watch that NCAA tournament on ESPN 130 Saturday, March 22nd, the Colonials in Notre Dame.